With a new skill coming to RuneScape next year, you might be thinking of buying Premier Club membership. So when should you? And perhaps more importantly, when shouldn't you buy Premier Club membership? I'm going to help you answer both of those questions. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For more RuneScape guides, content, and news, be sure to subscribe. Premier Club membership is RuneScape's special membership package that used to be exclusively available around the winter period. Nowadays, Premier Club is available year-round, and although it is, I would still recommend buying the package around the end of the year, as this is when the unique rewards are updated, such as the pet and outfit. Most people buy Premier Club membership because of the amount of money you can save by purchasing membership through that package instead of the regular subscription or other forms of membership. Eight years worth of membership will set you back the falling amount of money per currency type. These prices mean that you'll be saving 21.5% of your money compared to the 6-month deal or 45.7% when compared to a monthly subscription if you were to be billed for a total of 12 months. Now, as I'm Dutch, I use the euro as my currency. However, I'm fairly certain that these savings are universal for the currencies listed as Jagex includes similar numbers in their own post. Okay, so you can save money if you plan to play a lot of RuneScape in the coming year, but what are the other benefits? Well, there's quite a few. First of all, you get the 2023 Premier Club outfit, which is called the D Round outfit, which includes a bow and a quiver. You also get access to a very unique looking stalker creature pet known as Iris. This pet has its own unique walking animation, its own unique attack animation, and of course, the familiar special attack animation, which is by far one of the coolest. Just look how it goes backwards to charge up a kinetic energy Beyblade attack and just slaps the dummy. Just very nice. The pet, the outfit, and all other Premier Club benefits must be claimed through the Benefits tab, which you can access by clicking on Upgrades and Extras, clicking to Benefits and Upgrades, and then this tab scrolling down and claiming everything you need. If this year's cosmetics aren't your cup of tea, you can use your three Premier Club tokens to buy all the cosmetics, pets, and more, which are also claimable from the Benefits tab. Since you're a Premier Club member, you will also get access to the Premier Club chat badge, which is a blue star to the left of your name. It's a cool little star that doesn't really help your account, other than making you a little bit more noticeable in a very busy public chat. Additionally, you also get access to the Premier Club VIP server, which could be useful when you're trying to find an empty world for a certain trading area. Although remember, you're not the only person with Premier Club membership, and that idea. Now let's talk about some of the real, not cosmetic, rewards of being a Premier Club member. First of all, free weekly boss instance. This will allow you to save anywhere from 10 to 41 million GP depending on which bosses you do per year, given that you boss at least once every single week. That's quite nice. Personally, I would use this on something like Nex, as that is by far one of the most expensive instances in the game. After buying Premier Club, you get access to 150,000 loyalty points straight away, which you can use to buy auras, cosmetics, and more from the loyalty points shop. The Premier Club Artifact claimable from the Benefits tab is by far one of the most impactful things you can get as a Premier Club member, providing you with a daily four buffs you can use while also using an aura. For example, 50% chance to act as a son of the porter, saving porter charges and making certain skills such as fishing, woodcutting archaeology, more AFK. It also gives you a free aura refresh every single day, incredibly useful for PVMing, 10% more XP for an hour, and a slayer effect that not only makes your slayer task longer, great for good XP tasks or good money tasks, but also increases your hit chance if the enemies are below 15% health. If you find yourself running out of bank space, being a Premier Club member gives you access to an additional 100 bank spaces, which will last until Premier Club runs out. It's worth pointing out that if you have extra membership from Twitch Prime or some other kind of event, or you somehow have more membership already stacked up and you buy Premier Club, your Premier Club will run out, so the benefits of your bank spaces will run out before your membership runs out, which is really annoying if you have a full bank. Just something to keep in mind. As a Premier Club member, you will get access to the Premier Pass for each Yak Track within your membership period, which means essentially you're getting more cosmetics, more Prismatic Stars, Protein Packs, and other rewards. This is actually quite useful. You will also get access to a monthly DD known as the Vault, which consists of you basically clicking a bunch of chests in 60 seconds, trying to get as much loot as possible. My tip for you doing this is to focus on chests that are nearby and as large as possible. 
At around 5 seconds before the end, go ahead and click the colossal chest in the middle, as the timer can go to zero, but you'll still be able to open that final chest. By doing this activity every single month, you'll be able to get some more feathers, XP, protein items, and more. Additionally, you'll be able to claim monthly drops from your benefits tab as a premium member, which can consist of everything from protein packs to XP boosting bombs, umbral chests, which are another form of chest which can give you some money and cosmetic tokens, and death touch darts. As a Premier Club member, you also get one more daily treasure hunter key per day, so three per day. And for the first month of your Premier Club membership, you also get double daily keys, so six per day for an entire month. Now, this may seem insignificant, but treasure hunter keys are so good nowadays, that's a lot of extra experience or other items from treasure hunter in an entire year. The final benefit of Premier Club membership is a 50% discount on Rometrics Pro, which is a tool that will allow you to track your drops and experience. I'd say that this tool is not worth it for 99% of the players, even at a 50% discount. With all the benefits of Premier Club covered, when should you buy Premier Club membership and should you even buy it at all? Well, if you know you're going to be playing RuneScape for at least 9 months somewhat actively, it's going to be worth it for the money-saving aspect alone. Alternatively, you can buy Premier Membership using 20 in-game bonds, but be reminded, that's a lot of money, over 1.4 billion GP, and a cost of almost 3.9 million GP per day of membership. Now, if you can afford membership, I don't see why you would be using bonds because you're haltering your in-game progress by slaving away that GP to stay a member, or buy premium in this case, and then having to get it back before you can progress again. But if you're able to make that GP easily, which could be possible, you could make it in a single rare boss drop, then go for it. The value in Premier Club membership, in my opinion, is that you don't need to worry about sustaining your membership and you don't need to worry about missing a few days because you're a member for the entire year, you will have access to every bit of content that is releasing in 365 days, and there's lots of stuff to look forward to. Additionally, progressing your account to, let's say, Max Cape or 120 Capes is a lot easier thanks to the additional Treasure Hunter keys, the Vault, Monthly Drops, Premier Artifact, and more. So if you're looking to progress your account, in the coming 9 to 12 months, then Premier Club is going to be the choice for you. However, if you're a free to play player going to members for the first time, or you're just unsure about membership in general because you're returning, you don't know if you're going to like the game, do not buy Premier Club because you will be stuck with a payment straight away, 12 months, and if you don't end up liking it, you can't really go back. Instead, you'd probably be better off trying out RuneScape membership for a one, three, or seven day trial, which you can purchase exclusively on RuneScape Mobile, which you can easily download on your device. And yes, that is the same game, same character. It is a cross-platform game. Now, if you're very much an endgame player, you don't have much left to do. You've done everything. You've seen everything in RuneScape. And you're just looking forward to the newest skill or newest boss update. Do not buy Premier Club membership either. Instead, simply use a bond every time a new update drops that you find interesting, play it, enjoy it, and then go back into hibernation where you're bored or burnt out again. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting and helpful. And if you did, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.